Now, our universe is just one of many, and until now, popular scientific belief was that the universes around ours all had very different laws of physics, and that they were constantly expanding and possibly infinite in number. But shortly before he died, world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking and his colleague Thomas Hertog came to a somewhat different conclusion. They believe that our universe might not be that different to the ones around it, that is, the multiverse is actually simpler than we thought. So does that mean there could actually be people living on a parallel universe? Well, Belgian physicist Mr. Thomas Herzog joins us. He works with the Catholic University in Leuven and joins us now from Belgium to give us his perspective. Uh, Mr. Herzog, firstly, can I start with you? You worked so closely with Stephen Hawking for such a long time. You say he sat on this particular uh, theory, this conclusion, for quite a long time. Why was that? Well, yes, we needed to find some evidence for our new uh, findings, for our new cosmology. And um, that required to do some calculations to really get this new picture uh, in place. Uh, you must know that the old theory of the multiverse um, was some, predicted some sort of gigantic cosmology, which we could not really get a handle on. And therefore, um, the question about what makes our universe special, what makes our universe habitable, remained uh, a mystery in the old theory. And that's the question we set out uh, to solve. And, and, you know, I'm trying, I've tried to read it in and glean what it concluded, but you can definitely explain a lot clearer uh, for us. Is that essentially that the universe or the universe is the same as the others? Is that what you concluded? That's right, that's right. So the, the Big Bang in, in the old, in Einstein's theory, the Big Bang remained a complete mystery. So it always remained a mystery what kind of universe could be created from the Big Bang. And uh, Einstein's theory did not say anything about that. Um, so what we set out to do is we introduced new techniques new insights from physics into cosmology in order to say something about the Big Bang. And what we find is that out of the Big Bang does not arise a multiverse in which everything is possible, but a much more unique universe tuned to develop structures like galaxies and complexity and ultimately life. Indeed, ultimately life. So, you, you know, the fact that you have uh, seen that the other universes have the same laws of physics as our own, does that mean that there is then pretty much a, a given that there's other intelligent life on the other universes? Well, that is a philosophical or metaphysical question, right? We certainly cannot hop, hop from one universe to another. But we can predict on the basis of a theory of the Big Bang, what our universe should look like, and we can test our theories from within our universe. So the question of whether you can say much about other universes, you certainly can't test those, uh, those uh, laws of physics in other universes directly. But you need a kind of constrained multiverse in order to be able to say something about our own universe. We do want to test our theories of cosmology within our own universe. So give me an idea of how it can be useful to, to our knowledge here on Earth. The fact that it's, there's a finite options out there, that, does that make it more testable, more predictable perhaps as to where we might be headed? Exactly, exactly. In a multiverse in which everything is possible, your theory, your model as a scientific theory, becomes useless. And the question, what makes our universe special, would remain unresolved and it would just be a matter of chance or random choice. Whereas in a model of our universe, in which our universe is more unique, um, we can hope to achieve a deeper understanding of let's say, the unity behind it all. Ultimately, the fact that we exist here on Earth and the fact that there are planets and stars in our universe can be traced to what happened at the Big Bang. 
So modern cosmology gives this amazing, grand, sort of unified view of all of cosmological history. That's what we're after. Because uh, you mentioned there the fact that we exist, it's due to such a very precise uh, makeup of those physical laws. You know, if gravity had been even a fraction heavier or lighter, we simply wouldn't have evolved. The fact that all the other universes have the right. same precise elements, you know, makes some people believe that it has to be divine intervention. It makes them nearly turn away against from all this scientific knowledge. Exactly. So that's precisely what is at stake. Is there some mysterious intervention beyond science or can science itself provide us with an understanding of how the various delicate facets of our universe hang together in order to make it possible for our universe to become habitable? That's the question which is at stake. And of course, we have pursued uh, the hypothesis that we can develop science further in order to give a scientific explanation for those uh, yeah, fundamental features of our universe, because ultimately we are talking about the basic building blocks of what makes up our world. Um, it doesn't make the, the argument that God interactions exists. interactions of the particles, the nature of gravity. It well, certainly... Uh, well, I would say that within this scientific approach, God doesn't really enter the game. <laughs> um, this is a different realm of, of uh, life, so to speak. Indeed, and a question I, I imagine your former colleague, the late Stephen Hawking, would not have liked to, to hear me ask. Uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Thomas Hertog, thanks so much for taking time out to speak to us from Brussels and bring us an idea of that fascinating research into the multiverse that is around us. Uh, Belgian physicist Mr. Thomas Hertog there speaking to us live from Brussels. Okay, a quick reminder now of our top stories for you here on France 24. There is a good chance it will not go ahead as planned. US President Donald Trump throws doubt on the date for a possible summit with North Korea's Kim Jong-un. This as journalists arrive into North Korea to witness the dismantling of a nuclear test site.